maybe someday soon, New Zealand will uh, accept us uh, uncouth Americans again. <laughs> At the moment, it seems they don't want anyone except their own people coming back. But yeah, I, ho I hope I hope they relax it things pretty soon. Well, we're vaccinating quickly, if not entirely as quickly as we can. Yeah, well, I, I guess that's the, um, if this all works as is indicated, that's the thing that's going to open the borders up, I'd say. Anyway, one way or the other, I hope it happens soon.
Hi folks, it's Mike from New Zealand. G'day Mike. Sorry, didn't have my plug in. Can you hear me? Yep. Yep. Excellent. All the way over here. Amazing, isn't it? And I can hear you at my place too tonight. <laughs> Yeah, that might be direct though. That might not be with using the internet. Oh, now that my trees are all gone, so that, uh, you know, sound travels through there now. Oh. That's excellent. The grounder will be enjoying the exposure, no doubt. The what? The ground will be enjoying. Oh, yes. Yeah, it's it'll it's just uh, starting to um, to come alive again. Although the trouble is, there's an awful lot of um, slash, as they call it, lying around, off cuts. And uh, this is Lauren. I'd just like to do a sound check. Ken, are you getting five by five? Very good. Sound great to me. Does anybody know what five by five means? It means it's good, but I don't know what what where it came from. <laughs> five by five is a pilot signal that tells how strong the signal is, how loud it's coming through is the first five and how clear it is is the second five. So if it's completely loud and completely clear, it's five by five. Ah, okay. So you're about three by three, Richard. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm uh, on my way Not home. Not too loud you know, and a little scratchy. Okay, I'm ah. uh, about I'm about to hit the hole, so if I drop, I'll pick it up again as soon as I get home. <laughs> yeah. And uh, so you got so are you guys all familiar with the expression, which, as far as I can tell, is um, American in its origins, copacetic. Copacetic. Everything is everything is copacetic. It's just an English word, Mike. I don't know that it's particularly American. Well, no, I've never ever in my life heard it except I think in American movies, and it basically means it's, it's okay. Or yeah, it's, everything copacetic means everything fits together perfectly. Yeah, no, I've, yeah. I've I think it's derived from oh. coping. We're coping fine. It's copacetic. <laughs> no, actually, I think it's it's a I think it's a carpenter's term. Oh, oh, from the coping? Yeah. Danny? Any help? I have no idea. Richard's the carpenter, That's not the me. Word copacetic mean. <laughs> copacetic means everything fits together. Everything goes well together. I was figuring it's actually something that came out of the military one way or another, but I, I didn't know what the um, context would be. I suppose you could look up the origin of when it's, you know, but it, it, it's just an English word goes way back as far as I know, but I don't know. Okay. Well, I'm, I mean, not, you know I'm, not, I'm not that much of an etymologist, so. Oh, well, no, but I mean, I just say, I've never, ever heard it anywhere except basically on American movies and things. Okay, Richard, I looked it up. It <laughs> is an adjective considered a slang and it means fine, completely, everything working in perfect order. The origin is, according to this online dictionary, an Americanism of obscure origin. Popular <laughs> attributions of the word to Louisiana French, Italian, Hebrew, and several other languages lack supporting evidence. So fair enough. I grew, I grew up listening to it too. I, I considered it an Amer a, a piece of the language. Copacetic. Well, I'm sure we'll be using it more now. Uh, All right. I'm on Lucas Valley Road, guys. I, uh, I may or may not be here for long. I'll be back. <laughs> And there's another expression that's hardwired hard into our um, into
into our dictionaries these days. I'll be back. Have any of you ever come across the word propinquity? propinquity? These are the joys of reading. <laughs> Learn new words. Prosinquity? No, propinquity. I can't even spell it. P-R-O-P-I-N-Q-U-I-T-Y. I've heard it. It's, um, you could say that two nations were in propinquity. In other words, they were close, aligned, proximate. Yeah, harmonious. Um, yeah, it's just, <laughs> I didn't even believe it was a word um, until I looked it up. But yeah, it was from a book I was reading. Science fiction as well, which I wouldn't exactly um, normally um, take to be a great source of um, great, you know, wordage. Anyway, we must be about to start, shouldn't we? Well, I want to just take a moment to remind everyone about the workshops coming up tomorrow and uh, the following two Saturdays. So we're having O Sensei Revisited 2021 virtual this year. Uh, and uh, uh, you should have all received email. I'll post it the details to chat tonight again. We had a really good three classes last week and uh, we're hoping that uh, this week it's uh, even better. And uh, again, next Saturday and uh, again on the 27th, every day from three to 5 p.m. Those of you in New Zealand and in Brazil, please be careful. We change to daylight savings time in America uh, this Sunday. So, this week's class, that is tomorrow, will be on American Standard Time. Next week, we'll shift. Okay, so, so this weekend stays as is, but next weekend is going to shift by now. Yes. Trying out those ear earbuds, Roy. <laughs> Give us a sound check. Unmute your microphone. There you I go. I know. I got to set it up here. I'm not that fast here. Okay, it's working. Oh, you can hear me. We hear you five by five. Richard told us that's the. It means as clear as possible and full strength. All right, except I'm not hearing you through my headphones. I'm hearing you through the computer, so I got to fix that. So you that. have to go to Zoom preferences and select your sound output and input. The little microphone icon in the lower left, there's a menu. And input and output are chosen separately for some edge use cases, as we like to say. Yeah, I don't have anything at the bottom. On your iPad? No. Uh, where you control where you control your sound choices or your microphone icon? If it's on an iPad, it'll be in the upper left corner. It's blue, and it looks like a either a speaker or a Bluetooth symbol. Upper left, just under the leave button. That just has camera. Has just camera below that. Says so switch to gallery view. Oh, there's nothing between? No. You might not have them paired yet. Okay, well. well that's what I did. Um, uh, go to, go to Bluetooth. To that. Um, why don't we, why don't I take line? this offline with Roy? I don't okay. want to, Sensei is ready to go. Yep. And uh, uh, you call it, Ken. All right. Um, well, 
Sensei is ready to go. So I want to thank everyone for coming. Quick reminder about a Sensei Revisited, as Lauren mentioned earlier. And uh, without further ado, Sensei, can you hear us? I'm here. Yes, I'm here. We can hear you. Thanks okay. for coming. Here. Good evening. Are we all here? Okay, uh, we want to go around more with the qualities, okay, and uh, so uh, one thing we talked about was a partner quality. I'm going to ask, uh, I was talking to uh, Florida Amy, Amy Bernstein, and I thought it was nice the way that she worded uh, her little story. Amy, are you on? Yep, I'm on. There, there she is. <laughs> okay, uh, so let me see if I have to do anything for intro here. Oh, uh, she was talking about- Can I about get your how, username, Amy? I don't see you. Uh, no, she's not gonna do that. I think she's in her bed. Oh, no, 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 okay. no, no, I'm, I'm live. I'm live, I put my- But is your, ha is your hair on? Is your hair combed? Are you there? We go. there. Oh, yes, not we're bad. calling that not comb. Bad. Thank okay. you, Amy. Anyway, uh, so uh, Amy, would you repeat the story about having your, uh, let's say, first quality and how uh, you liked it and you were pretty good with it? Uh, and then some noticeable something's lacking or something, boom, it's your story. Yeah. Okay. It was, um, you know, when I did the practice that, that Bob was telling us, the first quality that comes up for me is love. And I'm very familiar with that one. Um, and the second quality that comes up is power. And um, when I have the partner energy, then I'm grounded, I'm squared away, I'm centered, I'm, I'm solid. But when I was younger, I didn't know about partner energies. You know, when we used to practice, we would just practice uh, one quality. So I would um, lead with love and I would end up giving myself away because I didn't have the power. I didn't have the ground. I didn't have the um, squared away. You know, I, 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 I had some of it on the mat and some of it in my work life, but not in my love life. So, you know, if I would have known about having the partner energy, I could have probably saved myself a bunch of grief. That's my story. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so any, anyone, if you feel you're lacking something or there are problems, it's within your system. The answer exists, whether we want to talk about uh, better energy mixes or qualities in the mix, whatever uh, you have available to you. So anyway, okay. Uh, uh, do we have any uh, uh, questions from, uh, you've had a week to mull on, play on qualities and partner qualities. Uh, where are you? You can open mic this one, somebody. We, we can chit chat for a, a minute or more. Nothing caught your attention. Nothing came to you during the week. Nothing as you were playing with or emphasizing partner quality or your first quality. Anything about the two of them? Anything about anything? Hello out there in the world. Well, since well, this is this is Lauren, I'm I'm happy to jump in. Okay. Jump. <laughs> Turn on my camera, sorry. Uh, when I was first attracted to Aikido, I was attracted to what we now, what I now understand is called Tenkan, spiraling, turning, getting out of the way. Conflict avoidance was one of the things that attracted me. And uh, uh, it was only later that I uh, got into Irami and understood that there was this other side 
you know, ura and omote of every technique. But uh, the tenkan and the and the irmi, as they as I sort of found each other more and more, it became clear that the uh, you know uh, that these qualities work together; that they are two sides of the same coin, and. Uh, <clears throat> I think that uh, uh, the Aikido led me to ch actually change my personality, right? From being someone who was more passive and more conflict avoidance to uh, uh, being willing to step forward and to take action uh, when necessary or to follow, you know, uh, to both lead and to follow. And so, one thing attracted me initially, one quality attracted me initially, but it, you know, turned out to be only uh, half of what I was uh, looking for. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Somebody else, I heard somebody else wanting to jump in earlier. Uh, yeah, well, that was me, Sensei. Um, and, uh, you know, for me, uh, I was talking to you uh, last week about um, uh, how these partners uh, come together, and um, it's uh, it's uh, I'm I'm feeling this this idea of tone is stuck in my head, and and that um, you know we have the we have the thing that we lead with. Um, you know, I'm, I'm creative when, when things happen, I get ideas of, you know, how to, how to go forward. Um, and then, um, you know, if I can, if I can wait, um, which is, is, a, is an ongoing practice, um, there's a partner that matches the, the tone that's, that get, that's harmonious with that and brings a different perspective. So, so, um, it's not that the partner, the partner is different, but they're not upsetting. They, they, they feel good together. Yeah. yeah. And uh, yes, and we'll touch on that a bit tonight. Uh, thank you. Should be so. I mean, that's how it works. Should be harmony of things, two things, three things, four things, right? It should be, of course, they blend and harmonize. That's why we're having this session. <laughs> okay, uh, last one, somebody? No, no, no. There's Linda. Hi, Sensei. Yeah. Linda from San Diego. Oh, you're um, on. I've been playing with the balance of my two, um, curiosity and expression. Curiosity is very much like inhaling, receiving, expression is, processing that and putting it back out in the world in some way. So learning, teaching, discovering, sharing. It feels like a very good balance between the in and the out. Yeah, that'd be a way of playing with using in and out beats. Yeah, uh, whatever format, up and down, in and out, whatever, whatever, are ways of uh, playing. Uh, all along the way. So, yeah, cool. Okay, where are we tonight? <clears throat> this first diagram. Uh, yeah. One thing that sort of historically nags me is how it seems like a lot of people are afraid of themselves, whatever that means, afraid of themselves, you know. Settle with yourself. Oh, I don't want to settle. Quick, put the radio on louder. Call Charlie, because I don't want to be here with myself. Okay. Uh, I notice even in basic Aikido intro, uh, settle down. And I see some people, uh, uh, newer people, of course, uh, get even tighter. They don't want to settle down. They're they're starting to bump into more of themselves and it scares them. How do I know? Their knees are locked. I say settle down and they go, Rrr. okay. So that's how it was 
nagged me, uh, caught my attention. So uh, let's be reminded about uh, one aspect there. Uh, you might, in calling up a quality, uh, uh, get a little afraid. I'm going to call it this quality. Oh, I don't know if I want to. You might, might get a little afraid. Let's look at, at that sense uh, and file it away because you, you probably won't have it with your first quality. Amy loves her, her lovingness and now she's made friends with the power. Uh, but the third one and fourth one, well, we'll see. Uh, but it wouldn't surprise me uh, that one of them along the way could scare you, all right? So let me try to explain one way of looking at that. In calling up a quality that it might, well, maybe we could look at it like before the quality shows clearly, it's an energy movement. Okay, so you call up a quality, but before the quality is there in its glory, okay, it was preceded by just an energy movement. Okay, and it's the energy movement that may push people into tighter and they make up bad stories uh, and create more fear about this. So it creates a misunderstanding. So uh, I just want to remind you. Uh, to use this, uh, present this sense of it, that when you call up a quality to maybe remember your earlier basics. Okay, calling up an energy flow, easy, easy. And as you settle and open, the energy flow starts to pass through whatever form you're doing it, okay? And then when you get used to a certain amount of energy flowing through or energy flowing through again, whichever way you're doing it, center style, circle style, whatever. Uh, and you're okay with the flow of the energy at that level, then you can say, and the quality here is what? Easy. And then it can begin to show its qualities. Uh, did you follow? I'm asking you to play the energy games if you have to. Uh, uh, and your basics on dealing with energy, and then within there someplace is the quality of it. Let me check with Brad. Brad, did that come out right? Brad said it came out right. Did it come out right? Hello out there, did it come out right? Yeah, it came out fine, Bob. Yeah, you okay? Everybody okay? I just just wanted to, to just to add that for me, one of the the exercises that you've always done previously, the one by one, two by two, is a great uh, um, example of, of experiencing that change when you allow us to have an extra step, which actually is a much more than a step. It's quite scary yeah. initially that for the very first time you take the step because it's new. Yeah. It's not it's not world. It's yeah. not a world that you know. Yeah. yeah. So uh, anyway, you call up uh, an unknown quality, number three is not so known to me. Um, don't get scared away from that. Uh, maybe remember again the basics. First, energy flows through. And as you start to get okay with just basic energy flow through, then end the quality here, okay? So you've, you've come to terms with basic energy flow pattern. Simple basics, we've gone over this before. We did the wind tunnel uh, example to get you used to and recognize an energy push. Uh, so simple basics by now, I hope. And then the quality, okay? Now following along with that, be careful. Uh, there's a percentage game. We talked a lot about percentages. Uh, some people want to, uh, total yes or total no or something. It's a percentage game at first. Uh, so when the quality first begins to appear, it's just percentage-wise, not its fullness. You might uh, hear it a little bit wrong. You might sense that it's a little aggressive or bitchy at you or something. Uh, but as you can percentage, easy, just let it for a while, let it for a while. 
the more of it will show its truer nature, its truth, the finer of itself. Uh, so uh, don't get scared away by the early presentation of equality because you're not hearing the full story yet. You got to let it beat for a while, find your own word. Let it let it be present for a while before you say, well, I don't know if I like that one or, you know, uh, something negative like, like that. They're all great. They're yours. But play the percentage game so that quality can be there more fully with its own finer purity sense. Is that is that okay? All right? Yep. Percentage game? Okay. Now, another thing. Um, okay. Uh, let's. Uh, hang on a moment. Okay. Uh, where your own energy stuff can scare you. Boom. We're going to call in uh, Tija Bell. I have to use his right title now. Roshi. Is that right? Is that right, Tisha? Yes, yes. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, that's right. Uh, that's right, especially in the Zendo. But here with you, the Sensei, oh, uh, I'm okay. happy with Tisha. <laughs> All right. Uh, we were talking about this uh, meta retreat that he's been doing for some years. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and Tisha, explain meta retreat. Yeah, sure. Um, yeah, uh, Ross has been with me on retreats that I've taught at Spirit Rock, and I also teach in the Zen tradition. But a metta retreat, metta is a Pali word that means kindness, loving kindness. So people, uh, you know, we have these, you know, week long, you know, sometimes seven day, sometimes 10 day retreats that are dedicated to the practice of metta, loving kindness. So people think, oh, God, that sounds so great. Let's go do a meta retreat and live in loving kindness, at least for, you know, a week or so. <laughs> Hold it one second and invite this quality full bore a whole week or 10 days of inviting loving kindness quality. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's, it sounds great. And it actually is great. But one of the things that happens of the first within the first few days of like, let's say um, a week long retreat. And when we're undertaking and working with this quality of loving kindness, what shows up is everything that isn't loving kindness. So people will begin to experience this, uh, this uh, internal inertia or uh, they'll actually become very angry and think, you know, here I am at a loving kindness retreat and I'm feeling angry and I'm feeling hatred and I'm really, you know, and I'm getting angrier <laughs> and I'm getting angrier and these darn people next to me, what are they doing here? <laughs> and so it's, it's very interesting. Um, uh, so it, all of that is, uh, is arising. It's not what we would necessarily call a partner energy, but it is a balancing energy Okay. I'll, yeah, go ahead. I'll forget it. Okay, my turn. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, so you're kind of a, of a loving nature, but you go to such a retreat and you call up this much more. Okay, now not knowing how it works, the push again, referring back to the push of the energies, as this comes up, a lot of energies pushing. Uh, potentially, they're being pushed into the opposite of loving. They're getting angrier. They're getting tighter, okay? Then they add to the problem by uh, worrying, of course, wondering why they're, uh, what's wrong with them that they're getting angry and now they can compound the problem. Uh, yeah, they blame oh, I'm not themselves. A, yeah. Blame so, themselves? Yeah. yeah, sure. Yeah. Uh, oh, I'm not a very loving person. I should never come back to one of these things again. They misread everything, okay? Because they don't know the, uh, a simple, uh, that, as you call up more, it has a, an energy push factor, okay? And to know that you can, you can maybe deal with the energy just as a, uh, I don't know, a force, just oh, it's gonna be bigger and it's gonna be fuller and it's gonna 
flow through me, whichever style of hair you're doing. Uh, and, and then as I'm more comfortable with the energy size push of it, uh, then I'll get into the lovingness of it. Something so they don't get bumped so fast. So how I hear this, what teachers are saying, is, is they, they get bumped by this figure that they're calling up that's, uh, that's there during the workshop. I mean, everybody's calling it up. You can imagine how much potentially is there. Uh, and that pushes them into crazy. So did I cover that okay? Yeah, you, you yeah, covered right. it exactly right, Sensei. The, uh, it's, it's interesting that that is initially what comes up even out of a really good intention or feeling like that is uh, the lineage or the quality that you're calling up um, to, to meet its, its, uh, its opposite is very disorienting at first. Oh, yeah, to yeah people. I can imagine. Yeah. yeah. Everybody should be able to easily imagine that. You're, you want more love and you're suddenly getting pissy. What the hell? Look at the stories you can make up there about yourself. Lots of them. <laughs> yeah. And also why, uh, what I like this is uh, this idea is for you to know this is common. Uh, uh, yeah, know, it's a, it, give me a percentage or something, but follow up on that. Yeah, I think, Sensei, what I would say is part of my job then as a, as a teacher is to help in a certain way to normalize that and, and to point out to them, this is what is a, natu a naturally occurring. It's not unique to you. You know, it's not meaning something is wrong with you. This is part of the process of unfolding and really uh, release uh, perhaps uh, a kind of like a purification process in, the, in a way, I think you could say. But they don't understand it, their purification won't work. And again, they'll go into what's wrong with me. I can't purify. I must be a dirty guy. Mm -hmm. I, that would be easy for me to get into because I am. And anyway, but I, I wanted to highlight a bit that this is common for teachers to run into these people. Workshop after workshop of, 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 of uh, the uh, meta uh, style, loving, caring, all that. Uh, uh, to have this happen. Uh, so uh, again, you're not the only one. This is quite common mm -hmm. if you don't understand how it works or know a couple of games in here. All right. So that's what I try to do, teach a couple of games to take the initial uh, brunt of the hit off you. It's, it's not really, you know, we did all kinds of variations on that. Oh, it's a monster. No, let's settle. Realize it's an ally. All monsters are allies. Once you settle with them and get to the finer dimension of them. So we're trying to take away the pain factor. We're trying to take away, TJ, what do we call that? Where you're pushed into anger and you don't know what the uh, misunderstanding. Yeah, of, it's, it's, of, a, it's a kind of confusion. It's a lack of clarity about what's actually taking place. Yeah. So you identify with this other side that is coming up as angry person. You're here for generating and and trying to create more love in yourself and uh, potentially for the world, uh, you know. And the the conflict is one of confusion. Yeah. It is. Uh, it's confusing to to folks. So let's let's bring it into just daily occurrence. A guy says, "Jesus, I got to be nicer." Boom! It could happen where he's suddenly getting bitchier. And he says, what the hell's wrong? I, I wanted to be nicer, but I'm getting bitchier. Uh, that must happen 200,000 times a day in the US alone. <laughs> you know, whatever your niceness that you're calling up is because you don't know how it works. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's look at it as, again, with your basic sense of an energy push that knowing and calling up anything uh, uh, unless you're more advanced and you can tr uh, trigger through that real fast and be in the quality instantly, which you will be able to do, uh, that you you kind of look at it like an energy push first, but within that energy, once you're okay with the push of it, that then the kernel, I like that, the kernel of it, the quality of it can begin to show. 
And then again, the trick is careful. It's a percentage game. You're getting 10% of that quality. You may not read it right. Don't be so fast to try to read it fully. Continue the beat of it. Continue the hey, huh? where the percentage, 20, 30%, 40%, and it's truer nature to the point where you're actually feeling, sense feeling it. And it's becoming part of your mix, I am. Okay. So your idea of being a nice person is nice, but that's an idea. Is there nice energy emanating from you? We, I think we covered that a couple of weeks ago, this radiation factor. Okay. Uh, very important that we don't get confused between just the idea of it and its partner, the stuff of it or the body of it, if you want. Uh, uh, boom, that's here. And right there, we lose a lot of people. Uh, they, they don't know that simple idea to the stuff. Stuff will support the next level of idea. Those are partners. Uh, idea alone eventually won't work out. Another dis discussion. So where are we here? Uh, okay. Uh, also on this diagram, uh, let's see if this fits in. Okay. Uh, TJ, are we, are we kind of finished with that? Did we cover that? Okay. Yeah, I think so. There's one other part that I would say, I think that will lend into it's the theme is that yeah. people will come back to these retreats and it's like the next octave, the next step. So they know then that when they come into a meta retreat, they're likely, you know, so first timers, it can be confusing if you do this, um, you know, over uh, again and uh, following year or two, you come in uh, and you, you bump into that, you say, oh yeah, I remember that. This is part of the process of it. Yes, so, yes, part of the process. A little thing you click through on your way to, boom, yeah. You recognize where it is, what it is. Yeah, yeah. So that's in, important to see that that develop that it, the development happens first. You're confused, uh, but the second time you do it uh, and you're in that same environment, you might you might run into those same energies again, but you won't be confused with it. Oh yeah, I've been here. I've seen this road, this map before. I'm not you know the game. It. Yeah, you know the game. Well said. Yeah. I think I remember in my earlier meditation years bumping into very, uh, let's say, walls, uh, and and then realizing what they were. They were just dimensional change times, and, and then very quickly I knew when I was crossing a line because I feel a momentary bump. So I'm not forgetting all, but a little bump. I knew I was crossing in, but I didn't feel those walls that would stop me. It was just a little bump. Uh, so by uh, once you catch on, those things that were blockage just become uh, minor, nothing. Oh yeah, next dimension. Uh, uh, so you get it gets easier, you get faster. Uh, yeah. So thank you, Mr. Tijabel. <clears throat> okay, what about a story here? <clears throat> Let's say, let's say the green is nice. You're a uh, certain level of being a nice person, okay? And some idiot comes by and bugs you, okay? One, the degree of nice that you are may not be enough to contend with this idiot. He's a bigger idiot than you are nice. I kind of like that. <laughs> He's... He's better at being an idiot than you are at being nice, okay? So you get bumped out of it, okay? Uh, now, what's happening here? The next level, dimension, whatever, of nice is trying to come into play, okay? But not knowing the game, you're being normal nice, bumped by this idiot 
And right there, this next batch is coming into play, so you'll be bigger knives, fuller knives, okay? But because it's a bigger energy push, again, we go back to this one, boom, it could push you out of your basic knife into being not so nice, and on and on and on, okay? Or you're freaking out because you're not nice, what's wrong with you? Or you're suddenly really bitchy, now really what's wrong with me? Uh, when all it was was more of that coming in to help you out in that case, okay? See, the energies, qualities and stuff are trying to balance and equalize with the situation. He's a bigger idiot, you get bigger niceness. Okay, does that, does, will, will that help you? <laughs> okay. Uh, so that if you're being nice, idiot comes by and you feel some, nah, 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 you know what it is. Oh, energy. You open. Just a sense of energy, nondescript, just energy flow. And, and, and the nicer there will begin to show. Boom. Okay, which is a hell of a lot better than being pushed out into screw you, idiot. I'll be a bigger idiot than you, which is kind of typical. Okay. I came out of that school. <laughs> if I ever tried to be nice. Yeah, I'm sure I did. Anyway, where are we? Open mic. Are we following anything here? Do we have any questions there? So that's it. Say that right? Yes. So would you say then that uh, that uh, level of uh, niceness then is being uh, defended then? That you would is be defending? What? Defended. Defended. I'm not so sure that, what that word means. Well, that you're defending that level. Oh, defending. Oh, yeah. okay. That so word you I might understand. do that by attacking. You might do that by, you know, going nutty. Well, it's the energy is pushing you, not whatever you're going to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a basic, basic energy push. Mm -hmm. what, are, what are you going to do? Some people go catatonic. Some people run around and nothing happens. Some people attack. Uh, yeah, so yeah. whatever. We, we've gone through those basics. So. Yeah. I don't know if I'm saying, but I'm defending this. I, I'm, I'm not sure if I can fit that in. Maybe something, but I, I'm not there. Okay. For me. Yeah. Uh, if you just look at it like basic energy flow, basic flow through what's going to happen, you know, basic, Roy, we, we've gone over basics umpteen years. So unless I didn't hear you right, you can, I'll, you have my number, you can call me on this. Uh, somebody. Yeah, um, this is Amy. I, yeah. I want to go back to something you said before, you know, when um, you said, oh, she knows the two, those two qualities, the partner qualities, but now there's three and four. So, you know, oftentimes when I am performing or I'm, I'm giving a speech or I'm working with a difficult client or something, before I go in, I'll ask for an energy to come in through my system to help me with that particular job. Yes, yes, yes. No, it's a it works. great Every game. Every time it works, it's Every great. Every time, yes, guaranteed. Yeah. But now here's my question. Yes. Do I then, am I, is it then do I ask for the partner energy and the third and the oh, fourth? Oh, oh, oh. Ah, ah. <laughs> You know, I I want to break these up and uh, what's the word, uh, uh, study them and stuff so you get a sense. But in daily application, I don't want you to study and, and uh, particularize and, and not, not a daily living. I want to lay that out so you understand how it works so that one day you go, oh, okay, I got it. Zoom, bam! And they've already mixed and you're already pretty full. Uh, so I don't want to itemize right before the meeting. Oh, see, I need another. Now, what's the other one? Now, what? Oh, shit, I forget what it is. is it, I, I, are you there? I, I don't want to go crazy here, is what Good. I'm trying to say. Good. Thank you. <laughs> because it's working the way I was doing it. Yes, yes. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. I trust the intelligence of the system. So if I say, hey, I got to be with this guy for 
uh, for an hour and he's a bit of an idiot or whatever, whatever he is. Hey, and I just trust the mix to be the best mix I can have, I've allowed at that moment. Not that it couldn't be a better mix, but it's the best I can come up with in the time allotted. And that's what I'll walk in the room with. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. And if it and if after the meeting or the show you performed, whatever, uh, you felt there was something lacking, then you go back. Uh, not to the drawing board, to the training room, and you do the same thing, but you get you 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 go deeper into it, fuller into it. Then you might look around for. I think I missed something at my last show. What did I miss? And it might be one that's not as familiar to you, and it needs a little more time. So you 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 give it time. It's just you in your room with that quality or whatever was being missed or that degree of it, whatever is being missed. Uh, but the system will play with you. Will, will, yes, will want to play according to how you, you said. Yeah, so yes, yes, and yes. Get off my screen. Uh, somebody, we okay here? Anything here? <coughs> Well, Sensei, if uh, you uh, want some more, um, I, I wonder because we work with masculine and feminine um, up and down, uh, if the, the partner should not be sort of the opposite. So Tisha talked about, you know, okay. working good. on loving. Yeah. yeah, okay, good, good, good. Hold it there. <clears throat> Amy laid it out quite well, all this loving, but there was no power or let's use a different word, uh, firmness, the ability to say no. Uh, my joke I was, when I was young and involved, uh, was, and I would try to warn the young female people, uh, your no sounds like maybe. Because there's no power behind it. There's no, no. It, it wasn't a no. It, it was, I should say no or whatever. But the no was an idea about no. And there was no presence of power to it. It sounded like maybe. So I don't want to get into sexual fight there. So stop me before I continue. Uh, sure. sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh. See, we unfortunately use male, female often in our discussion of the universe, but people go into boy, girl, and I don't want to go to that level with, with it. So I, I call it hey and ho, yin yang, yeah, frame and flow. whatever that means. Huh? Yeah. Up, down, down, up, light, dark, dark, light, in and out, out and in. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so we have to be careful in saying boy, girl, uh, although I'll use it present it to you sometimes, but but let's not get too crazy with it. Okay. Anyway, somebody, any, anything more while I think about something more? Hello? Yeah, Bob. Yeah. Yes. He, mu he muted himself. Steve, you're muted. Sorry. <laughs> so, okay. He's a nice guy, but now and then he's a. <laughs> he's, let me see. I want to do it without having to hold my. Uh, 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 there we go. Okay. <clears throat> so uh, uh, in, in that example you used, it's going to call up all the opposites, uh, the things that are not loving kindness. And it, it seemed like this is somewhat like when you confront a monster. Uh, wait, 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 wait. I'm, 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 I'm sorry. Could you? Start from the beginning again. Okay, yeah. You, you, you talked to, well, we talked earlier about loving kindness or kindness and, and in, in opening to something like that, all the not kind things are gonna start to hit, hit you. Uh, and, and uh, uh, wait, 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 wait. Where, where, where are they coming from? Uh, where are they coming from? <laughs> Let's go yeah. back to Tija's layout. They they want to sit and be more loving. 
Right. That's the whole purpose of their 10 days there. Right. They've been and looking forward to it for weeks and months. Oh boy, I get to sit and be more loving. Okay. Now where we said the anger came from, where I said the anger came from, was the size of that coming up pushes, basic energy push. It's bigger, it pushes. And it pushes them into tighter where they get pissy. It's not pissy. It pushed them into a tighter zone. Right. Okay. Right. Okay. Uh, Go ahead. All right. So what it what it reminded me of is when we uh, go deeper and we start to run into monsters, so-called monsters. Okay which seems to have that sim similar uh, effect or reaction, which is, oh, this is, something's wrong here, you know, mm -hmm. it, it is, and, and, and this recognizing that there's something, that this is not just really a monster, it just is calling me to open some more and allow more so that that monster can really show what it really is. Okay, uh, go dimensionally finer, okay? Yeah, and it seems like that's similar to what, you know, if I'm opening to kindness and all these non-kind things are, are pushing at me, mm -hmm. uh, allowing that instead of resisting it, it's like a, 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 somebody, a new, newbie in, in Tija's workshop might say, oh, you know, this is, I'm screwing up. As yeah, opposed we, to- We covered that, yes. Yeah. And so I, mean, I just feels like there's there's a similarity there between these two kinds of things. Uh, uh, Probably, but my mindset is not quite there where you're at with it. Probably, maybe so. Okay, okay. Yeah. It just it just struck me that that it seems like a similar uh, thing when we start to get these these um, seemingly uh obstacles or um uh whatever it is that that doesn't seem like what we're what we're calling up what we're we're, we're uh, wanting to experience that just taking a moment and allowing it not resisting it not uh judging don't it. don't judge that first moment remember it's a percentage game if there's yeah. five percent of whatever and you're judging it, you only got 5%. You're gonna quite likely see it wrong. You're gonna hear it wrong. You're gonna feel it wrong. Give it a chance, easy, a little bit more, easy, let it, let it more. See, in my movement, I'm automatically opening up into a little bit finer, just a little bit finer and easy and a little bit finer. I can feel it already through my system. It's a little nicer. Just this is not this is a symbolic thing. I'm doing something here with this. I'm settling deeper, knowing for me deeper is a dimensional and there's finer on the next beat. And that's where I'm at with it. So when I move my hands, something is going on. Okay. Don't just move your hands and move your hands. Okay. Anyway, where, where the heck? Get off, get off. I don't know what to do with you anymore. Uh, somebody, we got time. Uh, any Anything on-, on... Yeah, Bob, it's Mike. Um, yeah. I was go. just gonna say that the term monster, which you've used for a long do time, but I recently you- theory here? Go ahead. No, no, just that you came up, I think with one of the previous sessions with the term guardian as maybe being a more appropriate word for that and it certainly feels better for me i mean guardians can still be bloody scary sometimes but once you yeah. settle and meet and meet them as equals then you get to pass yeah, yeah. it's just how it came to me originally yep was i was doing upper meditation finer dimension and there'd be guardians at the gate so for some years guardians at the gate when I started to go down under, there was a lot of horrible things. Grave, graveyard, skeletons, uh, uh, ugly, thick, bad. That's where the monster word came up from. Okay. So uh, you could do it that way, I guess. Look at 
anything monstrous as just being a guardian at the gate. Easy, settle. Maybe even let the shark eat you <laughs> and then see who you are then. <laughs> so, yeah, okay. I also get the sense that you can let the, if you settle the, that, that whatever that um, challenging energy is that's coming through, will actually pass through me, right? yeah. or I'll pass through it. Um, it will no longer be a barrier. Yeah, uh, you, you gotta remember, yeah, when you get the finer sensing, there's no more this. Your finer sensing, you can find sense through anything at a finer sensing level. You know, you gotta stop being a human being. Human beings can't walk through boulders. I was telling you a couple of weeks ago, don't go climb yes. over and walk around in people. Settle, you change your vibe a bit and you pass through them. Human beings can't normally do that. We, we hurt our nose. We get a bruise on our head, <laughs> okay? So you gotta know where you are. There are different rules here. That's another discussion another day. Uh, uh, the language and the rules are different from uh, manifest, using those same face map, to the hidden, what I consider to be the energy dimensional realm. The, the languaging there is a bit different and the rules are a bit different. Okay. So another discussion day. Are we okay so far? Okay, I got lots of people. Where are we? <laughs> Where are you? I sort of wanted say, to. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Go. Danny here. Um, hey, Danny. You said something about judging the the energies. I just wrote it down. It seems to me that um, it's quite an important thing that when these energies arise, not to be judging them, to let them be. And uh, I find as soon as I start judging, I've got a big story about it. Oh, yeah. No, we'll make up all kinds of bullshit. Yeah. I mean, let's say you're doing something and you run into a grave. What kind of story are you going to make out of it? It ain't going to be nice. <laughs> right? What kind of story are you going to, oh, maybe it's my time to go. Oh, my God. You know, it's a sign from God. Get ready. You're going to pass any moment now. Come on. You know. So, yeah, we can really spin off. So. Easy, easy, settle. In a finer level of vibration, dimensional, things can explain themselves better, truer. Yeah, everything is going to be truer. There's no on purpose bad stuff that is purely bad forever to a day. It's 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 a dimensional vibration. Easy, it's a finer vibration. Easy, it's a finer vi vibration. Yeah. So, yeah. I have that. You okay, Danny? I'm very okay, thank you. Okay. Uh, anybody, anything before I move on to? I don't know what. Anybody? I just throw out some words to you there, Sensei. Uh, mm -hmm. High, high. Uh, Frequency and high fidelity. Okay. As in like truth, as in like purity. And the higher the frequency is sort of like the finer the vibration. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It's vibrational. So, yeah. If I... Uh, uh, that sound tells me about what level I'm at. Easy, settle in, inferring it's not. Oh, you're on it. Um, um, and then again, another one, it would even be better. Okay. I've had certain sounds where I can't believe it's it's anywhere related to me. These sound like, oh my God, it's really, it's nice. So yeah, it's dimensional frequency sound. Uh, is that a professional audio? It's okay? Okay. Um, 
and uh, the musicians are probably well aware and have all the words for vibrational finer. Or I can ask Katya to come out and clink on her piano, finer to heavier and heavier to finer, whatever. So yeah. yeah. Okay. And so I just wanted to say, um, because you brought up that subject of frequency, that the my image is the opposite. That as you settled and became calmer, that the frequency would actually become lower and lower. Um, they just seemed that that was part of the settling process. Um, I've never done that. Uh, Did you redo? Yes, Didgeridoo. and the Nepalese style. Oh, oh the throat, the throat chanting. Whatever, yeah, uh, not my thing. So whatever. <coughs> I like to use the as I did it is how I historically have checked it. Uh, it would not be in my system to do that. Oh, and since the finer there with, with that, so I'm, I'm maybe is something there for you, fine, but for me, it's not quite the form I would use. Doesn't mean, and there are many forms and styles, which we'll get into another day. Okay. Uh, but not, not today. Uh, I kind of, okay, so we've got a quality, get a partner quality. Okay, when? Uh, if I were to change this color, I do. I need a third picture, which I don't have. Let's see. Okay, let's say it's that color. Okay, you got a quality and the partner quality coming into play. Where do I want to go with that? Uh, okay, a couple of tricks there. We might have mentioned it last week, I don't remember, but a couple of tricks there. Be careful of looking at, this is blue, blue. Be careful of green quality that makes me up. And here comes the partner quality. And I'm looking at the blue with green eyes. You may not see it for what it is. You're already tainted, okay? So one trick is in playing with a partner quality to try to clear. And when you let the partner quality, uh, and again, give it a chance to be more fully there, that's important. Uh, but it might be easier to be clear, clear the stage so that that partner quality can have the full stage and be more and more fully present. If I'm looking at that one with, with my first eyes, uh, it, it, okay, let's say Amy with love is looking at this thing coming at her called power. Can you imagine how power, the first vestige of power showing can look to miss love? It could look horrible, okay? So what I'm trying to say is try to clear as a trick when your partner quality is coming in, give it full stage, give it full stage. Then someplace along the line, as Kenny said, the two of them should dance together, interweave with each other. So you're strong lovingly and you're lovingly strong. I love the beat of words that way because that's sort of how, how it is. At a certain level, strange opposites can really dance. Okay, but you have to be at that level. We're back to the brain thing. You can't think about it. It doesn't make sense. Damn it, Sensei, do you want me to be uh, strong or soft? Which is it, Sensei? Oh, there's a certain level where it's strongly soft and softly strong. Doesn't make sense to this first brain. Well, you mean one minute of this and then one minute of that? Or, uh, no, 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 no. Where they're coexisting. It's one mix kind of thing, okay? 
Ah, oh, how did I get into that? Where are we? Uh, so anyway, a trick with partner is try to clear could help. Is that okay? Yeah? Did I say it right? He says okay. You guys okay? Sounds good. Uh, that's my Sounds skill. Good. Anybody else? <laughs> okay. I wanted to remind you about uh, uh, Oh, just, I was thinking about the family thing again. Uh, uh, how easy it is to interfere, uh, make believe your parents here, okay, for those of you who aren't. Uh, when the kid in his young years is starting to talk about or have little mannerisms of equality, uh, that doesn't make sense to you, doesn't fit in with your qualities, your mix, okay? Uh, how easy it is when you kind of give them that look or question them about it or laugh at it or negate it, how you can get them to think that's a bad quality. Daddy didn't like it, it must be bad. My whole family laughed at me. No more of that one, that's for sure, okay? And wouldn't it be nice if we had uh, uh, energy aware beings who could hang out with your kid for a few minutes and catch his qualities, his set, uh, his sort of uh, mission in life, get a flavor for him. And then to tell the parents where this kid is coming from, okay? Uh, give them a heads up, okay? Uh, especially if the kid's going to be different than the norm or different than your norm or your family's norm. Uh, that, how nice come the future when we have aware people who are capable of doing that. And that's not a big deal. Okay. Sensing that person and their mix, their thing. Okay. Uh, how much easier it would make things? Uh, I don't know. I, so I made up my own ugly duckling story. Uh, okay, you got a little duckling, and, but it got involved with a family of chickens. Okay. Uh, and how the family would say, what's with this kid? He wants to swim all the time. What's with that? And by the way, he's always talking. He's always talking about flying. Oh, we just sort of flutter around the barnyard. Where, where is this kid coming from talking about flying? It, it doesn't fit into our chicken culture. Who, who is this kid? What's wrong with him? Kid, you got to stop talking about flying. Kid, you got to get out of the water. Not good for you. <laughs> and that's basically it. It's, it's a dumb example, but that's it, that's what's happening too much all the time. Right? And how nice to be in a society where we could have, let's give them a title, the readers, where they could read the children and tell you, oh yeah, this kid, da, 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 da. Uh, somebody was telling me a story, maybe it was Moon, about a, a friend of ours, Samuels, Stephen Samuels, for those of you who know him. Uh, talking about a lady friend of his who as a young girl uh, was really into drumming. But now this goes back to the 50s or whenever, 60s, whatever. And from in the south of the US and young girls in Southern US in the 50s don't get into drumming. Girls don't drum. She wanted to drum. Uh, it was not, not allowed for her to talk about it, wish for it, hope they'll buy her drums for Christmas. Not going to happen. Uh, uh, now, I don't know what happened later. She became a professional drummer or what. Moon, you, you know what happened to her later? Moon, are you on? Doesn't matter. but No importante. Okay. Uh, 
<clears throat> so anyway, uh, so at least let's be careful if we're dealing, especially with the young ones, uh, not to look at them askance, or maybe try to get a sense of where they're coming from. Uh, maybe learn little tricks to see if you can enhance that, that they're childishly talking about, but could be an important piece of their makeup. Uh, you got the sense of what I'm trying to say here? Or how nice a society would be where that was the norm? Yeah? Yes, definitely. Mm -hmm. Society that was more accepting? Yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> Am I going too far? Am I expecting too much? <clears throat> what else do I want to get into? Um, uh, Susan, I talked to you about the children thing. You got any, Susan, you on? He was here She's earlier. Out. She's out. Yes, Sensei. I'm here. Can you hear me? Yeah. And, and, and did you hear what I said about the children thing as an example? Yes. And we also Anything? talked about how neat it would be for kids to understand their balance of powers, or their balance, balance? of qualities. In what that they have the main quality, they have the main quality, and then there's another balancing quality. Okay, yeah, that would be part of the in intro at a child's level. Uh, I don't know. Dear mommy, I want to be nice. Okay, great. And now everything has a partner, honey. Nice and what else? Nice and what? And see if they could come up with that. So they're already in balance so they don't run into uh, uh, Amy's majoring in loving thing and not working out as nice as you would have liked to it without the power. Uh, so yeah, yeah. Now, hang on, double check. <coughs> hmm. I, I, I don't know if this fits in, but I was wondering like oh, sensei stories. I wonder if we did oh, sensei a disservice because we were limited in our ability to see him. Uh, but I remember the, the well-used word around Osensei was power. My God, he's got so much power. Look at him throw. Did you see that power? Uh, and then it sort of gave the impression that that's the only quality he had was power. <laughs> uh, but it was just in the eye of the beholder. We couldn't see. Oh, wow, did you see that harmony going on when those 10 guys were thrown down or fell down? Did you see that harmony? Did you see that loving acceptance of that situation when he sucked them all in and boom? Uh, we didn't have that ability. All we saw was, wow, power. So I wonder if we didn't do him a bit of a disservice. Uh, anyway, whatever. Uh, we're eating up time. I don't have too much more to say here. Let me double, double check. Uh, okay. You don't, again, uh, we're studying. Uh, I want to lay these things out so you get a sense of them. But in, in the application, uh, you don't have to, you don't even have to know what the qualities are. Uh, you could just, hey, I need some qualities. Boom. And just trust that they'll be there. That's what Amy was doing when she said she just uh, asked for the person who should be, uh, who should I be to deal with this guy? Who should I be to be on stage with these people? And trust the mix will be the mix. That's proper. Okay. That I want you to understand a bit how things work, but in, in application, uh, you don't have to know all these details. It's after you. You play with them for a moment, you get the sense of them, and then you, I don't know, it's called it the Shazam factor. Hey, boom. Oh, since they had a hell of a Shazam factor. Okay, something would happen, boom. I mean, just this, this harmony of everything around. 
and this beingness, Shazam factor, okay? Uh, but he had to go through some stages to get the flavor for it to then eventually be able to do a hit hat type pattern. So uh, I just didn't want you to get confused with because I break it up, lay it out, uh, show you the process of it, that, that you think you have to do that way in daily life. Uh, no, it gets faster, quicker. Bing. Uh, that factor. Anything? Anything here? We're going to finish up soon, so. Energy push. Anything? I'm listening. Anything? Sensei. Yo. This is Andrew. Yeah. Um, as you go through um, this, you know, for a while, you've been talking about levels and different and dimen dimensionality. Do you do the partner? Uh, I guess the partner energies change, or are they consistent? You've got your grouping. Okay. Okay. You've got your basic grouping. Uh, no, depending on the situation, you might get odd ones to be proper in that situation. Uh, but the I don't know, maybe still be probably offshoots of your main mix. Uh, again, what you need for that moment, that situation, I just trust it'll be there because it's intelligent. Uh, but I think I'm going more for uh, how you or anybody other, uh, how you can uh, pay more attention to your quality so it'll mix up a better character you. Okay, uh, so right there, I'm not sure if I want to get involved with uh, uh, things that don't seemingly help with that. Uh, you got enough to worry about, about your four basics, whatever they may be. One, two, three, four, make me up. Finer levels of one, two, three, four of energy make me up better me. Am I better? Mm -hmm. my, my hands are moving up different. They're almost not floating yet, but they're, they're heading towards that being moved up. Okay. One, two, three, four. Hey, I want to be a better me. Hey, mixing. Hey, I feel a little straighter. My vision is changing a little bit. Something like how I look out at the world. Hmm. 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 Uh, so I can feel the changes. Just to, that's my road signs. I know I'm moving along by those things. Uh, but anyway, work your own four basic, <laughs> and don't worry about uh, those weird days. Or one day the mountain was throwing lava at me, and I said, "Help." And this, don't worry about that. It'll be there. <laughs> if you say help, it'll be there and you'll run faster. Yeah. But work yours. You have a set. You came into creation with a set. We all did. Okay. Now it changes life to life, but it's within that set. Okay. I'm not a warrior male every life. <laughs> okay. I got a lot of that, but not all of that. I've got other things going on a, within my my color scheme. That's to highlight certain things. Okay, uh, don't worry about the outside trivial bullshit. You'll just confuse yourself. Settle with yourself. Open to yourself. That's all I'm asking. Okay, and qualities is just another way of 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 catching on to the more of yourself. They're there. Okay, if that facilitates you mixing, ah, see, I think Amy is a better person having loving power, power loving. Uh, I think she feels fuller and more capable, and and she didn't have to get hateful, right? Uh, and she didn't take the power and kill people. Uh, it's it's they'll naturally harmonize and get better, and then we go again finer level of all of those, and they'll mix up better and produce a finer character person. That's the game. It's kind of simple. All right, so don't cloud it up with odds and end bullshit. 
it's no importante. Okay. Right. You surprised how many languages I can speak out there, right? No, not at all. <laughs> okay. We're running towards the end. Anything, anything before we close shop. <clears throat> Since say this is Lauren again <clears throat> on the Lauren. chat well during class there was some interesting dial dialogue about whether the uh, you were uh, talking about uh, uh, you know trying to be nice and being faced with uh, people who aren't nice or whatever mm -hmm. and that uh, more energy starts to flow and that you'll feel the opposite tendency right okay, and the question was potentially is, potentially. potentially the question potentially. is is this inherent in the process of development is it always that you <laughs> feel this you know pressure or conflict or confusion or is it oh, okay that was the question not okay. the question but the community okay. question be... okay uh You're, you're big, but you're not big enough. You're not universal. That, that, so there's some pressure. Oh shit, I'm not good enough, whatever, whatever. Or I want more. I think there's more. And you do some kind of process and you get bigger. Okay, wow, great. But someplace along the line, you'll either say it's not good enough, it's not enough, okay? And you'll be pressured to move along in this process for more. Okay. Uh, now, how long does the pressure stay? As long as you're in the universe. Because there's a totalness factor in the universe, but it's damn big. It's not an idea now. There's also all this stuff that we're, we have to find dimension through. So. Uh, uh, it stays for quite a while. Oh, sensei said. People didn't know how under pressure he was. Okay. Because he always wanted more or to get to the end of things or to get to the beginning of things, the heavenly, what he called hev heavenly. And on that quest, you're going to bump into pressures, but don't look at pressures as a negative. Look at them like, oh shit, I'm being pressured. Okay, apparently my existence is that I can do better. However you want to say that. And you do a process, boom, to move into a better mix, finer dimension you, okay? And sure as shit, one day you'll be pressured again because there's more. There's more. That, that's all that means. I don't think we should look at pressure like a negative. And I think a lot of people take that track because they don't like the pressure. So they're looking for a pressureless place. That can lead to a, another whole story. A misunderstanding of spirituality. They go into the mind dimensional aspect and it's very light and free. There's no pressure. And they think, ah, I got it, that's it. Wrong, there's a half a creation they miss and it's gonna come up and, I'm sorry, it's gonna come up and whomp on you. Because you're saying half is everything and the universe won't let you do that. It has its own built-in rules, okay? Anyway, try to change your feeling about pressures. I know they're a pain in the ass and not that I love pressures, but we got to remember they're a reminder. They're a reminder, okay? When I say, I can't take any more of this corona shit. Oh, I can't take any more. Oh, that clues me in. I've reached my limitation at the level I'm at. Downtime. On your dimension, da 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 da, -da. Mix it up a finer level. And I have a different sense of whatever the corona or my place in it or whatever. Not an idea, an actual feeling. Philosophy, yes, idea, yes, but there's a feeling for it also. 
and, and did I lay that out? Okay, I've even forgot what I was talking to. Uh, uh, yes, I think so. Lauren. So it it sounds like you're describing the pressure as a naturally occurring inherent aspect of being alive. Being in the universe, yes, in the universe. Therefore, get used to it, learn what it's really <laughs> trying to say, and work with it. Okay. I know it's a pain in the ass. Okay. Uh, but because we started from a heavy realm and pressures have a certain historical flavor for us, I, so I know it's a pain in the ass, but try to catch on what's really going on and work with it as best you can. Best you can. Well, if I can, during your conversation with Lauren, there's been several uh, comments on the chat that seem to uh, get get your point. Okay. Uh, there's also okay. been a couple of comments that wanted to say uh, happy birthday to you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Another one. <laughs> uh, can you run through the comments real quick? Not the birthday comments. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. The birthday comments. Uh, uh, energy is the pressure of change. Without some pressure, there is no growth. Without pressure, there can be no calm. Okay. All right. Now, nice philosophy. Are you able to actually deal with the pressure in whatever form you're using right now? I'm using a downtime form. Are you actually able to deal with it and activate in it? I believe the da da da. Okay, so I don't want to kill these little philosophical statements because they're great, but without the mm, the stuff of them, they can also become bullshitty or even though they're true, but without the other half of itself, whatever you want to call that, bullshitty maybe too heavy a word, but so. Uh, Hey, did I get him? Nice. Uh, happy birthday. Okay. You covered that? There's no growth. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I think we got him. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we finished for tonight. We are finished for tonight. Thanks okay, so much. And enjoy your training tomorrow. Uh, yes. Okay. I'll see you later. Thank you very much. Thanks so much. See you next week. Thank you, Sensei. Great sensei. Thank you, Sensei. Thank you, Sensei. Happy belated birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy Stay safe, everybody. Oh, Kenny. Yes. Yeah, I, uh, yes, I brought up the uh, uh, small chat rooms on my own uh, Zoom account. No problem as long as I can be made host tomorrow for a period. Yep, that's what we'll do. Thank you, sir. See everybody tomorrow. Bye. Yep, tomorrow at so 3 o'clock. Thank you. Hey, Kenny.